And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, doing currently a different video, sorry not in the studio setup, currently on the road, but we are going to be doing a different kind of video after the sort of news that has emerged this afternoon that hasn't directly correlated towards Liverpool, but of course Liverpool's rivals, Manchester United. And basically I just wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions with regards to this ongoing situation and brand why Manchester United are disgusting as to what the decision they're set to make with regards to Mason Greenwood. Now, basically, The Athletic uh, published a report earlier this afternoon stating that Manchester United uh, Chief Executive uh, Richard Arnold told senior staff two weeks ago that the club were planning to bring back Mason Greenwood. He also intended to record a video explaining the decision. Charges against Greenwood, remember, for rape and assault were dropped back in February. Now, today, they've obviously put out a statement and a lot are stating that uh, Manchester United are at the final stages of their investigation and are set to bring back Mason Greenwood back into the sort of team setup. Basically, in their statement, briefly, they said, following the dropping of all charges against Mason Greenwood in February 2023, Manchester United has conducted a thorough investigation into the allegations made against him. Keyword thorough there. This is drawn on to extensive evidence and context not in the public domain, and we have heard from numerous of people with direct involvement or knowledge on the case. So they are sort of softening it there. Um, basically, the fact-finding phase of our investigation is now complete and we are in the final stages of making a decision on Mason's future. As I said, The Athletic are reporting that that decision is to integrate back within the Manchester United setup. Contrary to media speculation, the decision has not yet been made and is currently the subject of intensive internal uh, deliberation. Responsibility ultimately rests with the Chief Executive Officer. Officer. Again, the media are just saying this. They have made the decision. Once made the decision, we will communicate it and explain the club's internal and external stakeholders. Things have been a difficult case for everyone associated with Manchester United and understand the strong opinions it has provoked based on the partial evidence in the public domain. We ask for patience as we work through the final stages of this currently of this carefully considered process. As I said, Manchester United have said that they haven't made their decision yet. Probably feeling at the moment they have made their decision. They want to bring Mason Greenwood back into the set. Up. They also talk about these partial evidence. If, guys, if you don't remember the situation that happened, then I'm just going to play this clip for you now and you can see the evidence for yourself. Harriet, you need to fucking put Move your legs up. Move your fucking legs up! No, I don't want to have sex! I don't give a fuck what you want, you shit! Mason! Shut up! Talking to me! Stop! Stop putting your dick near me! I'm gonna fucking you, twat! I don't want to have sex with care. you! I don't care, you want fucking sex with me! Dear me! Why are you going to do this, though? Because I ask you politely and you wouldn't do it! People. I should politely and you wouldn't do it, so what else would you want me to do? I'm going to the toilet. I don't want to go to the toilet. You do. No, I don't. Why are you Push me again one more time and watch what happens no. to you. Well, you, you will actually, if you have to watch what happens. Mason. Get the fuck off me, don't so there you go. There's all the evidence that you need there, uh, Manchester United. There is absolutely no way in hell that the club, Manchester United, probably one of the biggest clubs in the world, can bring back a player like that. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting behaviour. Um, and if it wasn't, as I said, Mason Greenwood is a fairly talented player. And as I said, a generational talent. They sort of brand him as um, at Manchester United. I don't care who you are. You start doing sort of stuff like that and treating women like that, disgusting. You shouldn't be getting a footballing career and you shouldn't have young children looking up to you and getting paid all of that money. Again, if this was just a normal player, he would have been gone. He would have been dropped like a sack of crap in the first instance. There would have been no investigation. Yes, Manchester United are only investigating and trying to get him back because he is a, such a talented player. Again, if it was anybody else, if it was just a random Jove in that setup, he would have been long 
gone. Again, there should be no special treatment. We've seen the videos. We've seen the evidence. The evidence is there for the public domain. At Manchester United, can't be bringing a player like that back. Again, I've seen um, representatives of Manchester United come out in terms of the fan base. And again, they're not happy with it. So I do think they, like Mark Goldbridges and all that like that, have came out with their distaste and calling their own club vile if they were to bring back Mason Greenwood. And yes, again, I don't think the Manchester United fan base want him back. I think it's just Manchester United trying to push this agenda through because he is such a talented player. But it's not going to cut it. He's going to be booed at every single ground he goes to. You can't pull the wool over our eyes. Everybody's seen the clips. Regardless of his situation, his personal situation with what's going on with his girlfriend and I heard the family or sort of said stay with him because he's rich and he changes a life and he takes it out of the council estates it can't be the case this cannot be the case he cannot play professional what he can't play professional football in this country again if he wants to go out to Saudi Arabia if he wants to go out somewhere else then that's that but he can't do it in England we can't let a player like that I know the world's gone crazy and, and, and all this stuff like this but this is a huge step in the wrong direction if he again you've seen the evidence you don't need to see it what's stopping Adam Johnson from playing and I know as I said I don't want Adam Johnson playing but what's stopping all these other players that have committed heinous crimes uh, from playing in, in, in the Premier League again it can't happen Mason Greenwood cannot he has to be the example again he says to make of a mistake this was going on over a long period of time um, and as I said he knew what he was doing and as I said he, we've seen it we've seen it with our own eyes he is a, a problem I mean, I can't imagine there being any much people disagreeing. I actually do think regardless of who you support, everybody is actually on the same side. And as I said, Manchester United fans are again uh, outraged by the club's sort of imminent decision with regards to it. And if the Manchester United fans actually do stand up for it, then he won't be integrated back into it because Old Trafford would boo him. He needs to go. He can't be uh, put in. He can't be put into this situation. There's another situation with regards. I've seen uh, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting it just can't happen it really can't happen and as i said hopefully manchester united do sense, see sense over the next sort of couple of days and actually see the outrage from their own supporters uh with regards to the mason green he should not be playing for manchester united and he should not be playing in the premier league regardless regardless if the the the, the char quote-unquote charges have been dropped we've seen it with our own eyes but Liverpool fans that's all I've really got for you with regards to that as I said I did need to get make a video on it um disgusting actually outraged me today actually seeing that that he could be actually coming back into football uh, but do let me know your thoughts on the situation. And are any of you out there that actually do think that Mason Greenwood should be playing football for Manchester United again? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That does bring us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content, guys. Next video will be more positive. And with regards to Liverpool, I promise uh, I just had to get that off my chest. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.